Being leader of any pack requires self-confidence. But Bushdog Franco has more brass than most. He is the one that keeps everyone in check, including myself. He's basically not afraid of anything. He's got the heart of a lion, but the body of a bush dog. Bush dogs are no bigger than a King Charles Spaniel. They look cute and cuddly, but they're an animal that you don't want to mess with. And they've got that dark, sinister thing about them that is the carnivore, the killers. They'll take on large 250 kilo tapirs. There's even cases of them taking down humans. Usually, an alpha male picks one mate for life to start a pack with. It's one massive family unit. You've basically got mum and dad that rule the roost, and then it's just their offspring. They're just a very loving, caring group of animals that would rip your hand off given the chance. <laughs> but Franco doesn't play by the rules. Franco's a bit of a lad. He's got two girls on the go at the one time. When introduced to sisters Mana and Japura three years ago, Franco started a family with both. It's a tough old world for Franco. He's got the offspring of two females to one dad. He does have a lot of stress. With two partners and two teenage families to support, alpha male Franco is finding it difficult to cope, and his pack has stopped growing. Breeding has actually been quite difficult. We've seen signs that there have been three litters of offspring over the past seven months. However, none of them have survived. The pups died after keepers saw the babies being removed from the den too early and carried around the paddock after the adults squabbled. Franco's not the issue. He's been trying his best to look after everyone, but it's the two sisters that haven't been getting along. Mana's been showing her dominance over Japora, and as a consequence, the, the young ones have been neglected. But there's a plan to get Franco's pack growing again. Mana had the most surviving amount of offspring. She must be the more dominant one. She's got more offspring about. She's the more successful breeder. So we've decided to separate off Jipora and she's going to go start her own family in a zoo in France. We're hoping that by moving Jipora off, this is the solution to the problem and that hopefully we'll then have bush dog babies soon. Franco's pack now has a more traditional structure. And with the wild population threatened, it's important that this new nuclear bush dog family thrives. If we never bred from these guys again, we'd have to break up the alpha pairing. Without an alpha pair, you then ruin the whole family and the whole family has to get separated. We're talking about an animal that really relies on its family for comfort. The last thing we want to do is split up this group. It's been five weeks since Bushdog Franco settled down to life with a single mate. And keepers are hoping they've kept the right partner for him. Franco might be a bit relieved. He's just got more attention to give to one girl now. Already the signs are promising. Man is pregnant. She's looking pretty big. These guys can potentially have litters of up to six and that's a massive demand on the body. Her belly's nearly touching the floor, bless her. Um, yeah, she's just a bit hot and bothered. So I often see her just lying around the edge of the pool because she's just big and pregnant and can't be bothered anymore, I don't think. Franco has become the dutiful, expectant father and is focusing all his attention on Mana. He obviously knows that she's pretty close to her due date, so he kind of patrols the area a bit more, just keeps an eye on what we're up to. 
but Franco knows when to back off. During Mana's pregnancies, she gets a little bit grouchy. He's been around enough and Franco just leaves her to it. And she just wants a space. You don't mess with a woman that wants a space. Mana's last litter didn't survive. Keepers hope these new arrivals live to join the pack. The only worry is that did we do the right thing? Was getting rid of Japora the, the answer to the problem? Or was Mana in fact the problem? We should have kept Japora, but we don't know unless the pups are born. Morning, guys. It's breakfast time for the family of bush dogs. And keepers have come to check on pregnant mum, Mana, but she's nowhere to be seen. Usually there's 10 adults there waiting, happy smiley faces, eager for the breakfast. But there was only nine. So the first thing that came to my mind was maybe she's given birth. Bushdog pups are born blind and remain underground until they're strong enough to come out of the burrow. But keepers are anxious to know if Mana's pups are alive and well. It's really important that we don't disrupt them. We can't risk losing them. So what we're doing is listening out at every feed and throughout the day for any squeaks. It's just dog toy noise, like <coughs> like that. Um, but the adults do make that noise as well. So it's sometimes hard if the adults have gone in because you want it to be the pups, but you're like, not 100%. Suddenly, there's a lot of activity at the entrance to the den. Franco emerges, carrying a tiny pup. Keepers are desperately worried. We've seen Franco moving pups, and you know they're very young. It's concerning because when we have seen pups being moved so young in the past, they haven't survived. The only time that they'd move offspring is if they felt that that den was under threat and in danger, and they'll try and save as many individuals as they can. We have seen Marna coming out, trying to take them back. They weren't on the same page here. She didn't want the pup moving. There's some kind of upset there, but we don't know what. It shows that mum's unsettled, the group's unsettled. Something is going to go wrong then. It is worrying, um, because obviously you want them to survive, you need them to survive. And if they're out of those dens, there's a chance that they won't. At the bush dog habitat, keepers have been monitoring the entrance to the den for three weeks. You're walking around like an inspector, trying to figure out what's actually going on. There have been no more worrying sightings of Franco and Marna moving their newborn pups. But there have been no signs of life either. We've not seen Marna, we've not seen the pups, but it's gone quiet and we're just kind of left in this limbo stage of, are they okay? Today, Franco is on high alert at the den. And it soon becomes apparent why. Today is a fantastic day because I've actually seen the pups leave the den. They all look fantastically healthy. Initially we thought we had four and then there was actually five of them. And then, hold on a minute, there's six. And they're just like six, like six bush dogs. That's the top end of the litter that they can have. The six pups are keen to explore. But Franco's a little out of practice. Franco's looking a bit stressed because he's worried. He's got six individuals and he's not used to them living this long. He's almost like the cogs are turning. He's like, all right, what do I have to do again? All right, oh yeah, I've got to be dad. Right, this is what you do. Mum's now having a bit of rest and he's really got to pick up a lot of the slack. 
but not only has he got to look after these kids and make sure that mum's getting enough food brought back to her, he's also got a lot of juveniles that have never seen pups at this age before. So he's got to teach them what to do, how to look after them, how to carry them, how to clean them, how to help feed them. And if they're not doing that, then he's got to tell them off. So he's got a lot on his plate at the minute, bless him. The decision to install Mana as Franco's only alpha female was the right one. Moving Japora off to another collection was a big risk, but it paid off. Franco and Mana have really pulled it out of the bag with this one. We always knew that they were good parents, particularly Franco, but hats off to them both because they have been flawless in this whole thing.